This is the Marine Recruitment Depot outside of San Diego. And it has an obvious relationship in terms of its format. This is a mental institution outside of Havana, Cuba. But here the individual is subordinated to the group uh, and their structure given to each individual's lives, whether they're soldiers or people that need to be institutionalized in a, a different manner. I didn't want to be overtly political about things. I wanted to present ideas. But these two are sort of like the most uh, viciously attached as to any, although I've got friends in the military and friends that are part of this system, I still had to sort of like make the case for that really critical subordination of the individual to the group. And a medical institution was exactly the same way. This is the Montessori school where there's a circle. The children are invited to socialize and join the circle at 18 months. And they give up a certain amount of individuality, but that's what socialization is known as. At some point when you're told to march within uh, a military quad, uh, then that's a different level of socialization. At another point when you're in a, um, a squad of 10 men, which is the basic unit of the military, that's another form of socialization. It goes from something relatively benign of sit on the circle in Montessori to something that's more aggressive. Uh, but you have this, and we put it next to Pelican Bay, which is maximum security penitentiary in Crescent City, California. Uh, but this is almost like a kid's playroom or a cafeteria. My dad was the cop. Uh, he would come home at lunchtime and be in a uniform. It was, uh, you know, as a child, you want to be a, a soldier, a fireman, a cowboy, a policeman. You know, he was one of the basic icons. So, you know, somewhere in the early on in the project, not at the beginning, I was trying to think, who do I do this for? What am I doing this for? And then when I wanted to start photographing, I photographed LAPD, San Francisco PD, uh, El Paso, and I wanted to photograph the New York Police Department. It seemed like a natural I would go to my father's precinct. Uh, so going there was an event. You know, it's also, my dad would have gotten a kick out of the fact that I was able to take an idea that he at some point had some influence over and would achieve some success with that. A parent wants their child to succeed. If they do something in terms of uh, giving them an assist, whether they be alive or dead, it still somehow gives them cosmic pleasure, I'm sure.